our music, there's a lot of energy to it, and in the smaller place, the energy translates better. But I suppose if you come down here just to play two shows, you know. I have a good time playing. It doesn't matter. I mean, I, I have a preference, but I don't have, like, a s strong enough opinion to say that I hate arenas or that I hate clubs. I mean, they, they all have their own merits, you know. We're gonna do these two shows, it's gonna be pretty much just standard set. Then we're gonna record our record, then we're gonna go on tour this year, and we're gonna have a whole new set, all new songs. So we won't ever have to play Smells Like Teen Spirit again. <laughs> it's fun to play. It's just weird because it seems, for a lot of people, it's just, you know, it's the only Nirvana song, and that kind of, that's upsetting. It's just not gonna be as like glossy and candy-ish as Nevermind. It'll be kind of more like Bleach, just kind of rocking. A lot more, not, it's not really gonna be left field, you know, not totally crazy. But. It came pretty naturally. The time was right to do it. Nevermind was released in September of 1991. People were hungry for material. A lot of people think that the band's only record is Nevermind, and most people aren't even aware that Bleach is out. Now that Bleach is getting better distribution, more people know about it, but Incesticide will sort of bridge the gap in between Never mind, and the new record that'll come out. A yes and no. It's kind of like Neil Young's got Harvest, and then he's got Harvest Moon. Well, instead of taking 20 years, we're just going to take three to go back.